listening to anything else is like kissing your sister. My radio dot rocks. Dillinger. Heard on more radios than any other appliance. On my radio dot rocks. What you call a psychotic behavior, we call company policy. Thanks for rocking with my radio dot rocks. Here's a little tune, Points Around the Sun, from Sleaze's second album. Isaac's ready. He's going to be calling in here in just a minute. Get everybody situated.
Hey, we're back. I got Isaac on the phone. What's happening, Isaac? What's going on? What's happening? So, so yeah, uh, we're, we're rolling now? Yeah, it's rolling. All right, good deal. So, <clears throat> TCEL hits you up, right? Yes. That's good. Cool. So, uh, let's, let's start off with... Um, I know you guys had, you know, sleaze gone for quite a while now, um, and I know part of the history and your background. What got you into rocking and rolling? Because you started off at a very young age. Yeah, um, you know, it was mostly just the family, man. You know, seeing uh, seeing the Misfits, you know, playing shows, and um, when I was in high school, there was a lot of bands that were uh, playing at the time. And I was like, well, shit, I, I'm, I want to start a, you know, group, and uh, kind of went with their, you know, that's how, that's how pretty much got started in uh, 09, and uh, we had a good run, and in the last uh, couple of months, well, uh, my band called me, and they uh, they all dropped, so they all left the band, so currently I'm the only one that's in it, and I'm looking for new people, and I got a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. <clears throat> Plan on moving uh, down south to Alabama coming up soon, and um, yeah, I've been uh, I've been doing these like this filming shit, coming out with these like little videos I'm posting online and shit, you know. But uh, yeah, we had we, we had a good run for it, you know. Well, you you've actually went through a little bit of uh, different band members over the years. Um, I'm actually reading a little bio about you here on Battle of the Bands website. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, when I started the group, I had three other guys in it, and um, <clears throat> I don't know, they just, um, it was, we were just fucking around in the garage, you know, and then I ran into another guy who uh, was my bass player, um, and yeah, it just kind of, it's kind of went like that. They got a couple more guys in it, and that's how I found the group, you know? And I think that's, that's like the biggest part of starting a band, is finding, finding the right people, you know? And I had to, you know, drop the ones that were holding it back a little bit, you know? They, they kind of wanted to party and get fucked up all the time, but they didn't want to put the work in, you know? So, I got, at the time, I was like, nah, we gotta let these guys go, I gotta find something else, you yeah, know? exactly. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of bands out there that are doing that shit now where it's, you know, work's work and party time is after work. So, you know, you guys want to party it up and get drunk and do whatever you want to do. Wait till after the show. Right, exactly. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, I just, we, had a good, we had a good time, though. This, the band, we, we, did a, uh, we did a national tour. We were on the road for, like, almost... Well, almost two months, and we uh, covered over fifteen thousand miles. Um, you know, and we went as far as Brooklyn, New York, to as far as you know, Seattle, Washington, and crazy shit happened. Like we seen a murder in Phoenix at one of our shows. That was the second murder that uh, we ever had um, at one of our shows. And yeah, we were in Phoenix, and a guy got popped right outside one one of our shows. It was, crazy ass shit you know that, that's some crazy yeah i actually i actually have uh doyle's gonna be on the show here in the next couple of weeks he um i oh, took cool. i talked with him and uh you know told him we were friends and all and uh probably gonna try to pull you in on a three-way conversation with that one good i, 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 I hope you can do that i need to get, get him on the phone anyway i haven't talked to him in a while he's been so damn busy yeah, that's, well, we had it set up for like two weeks ago, but um, his publishers called me up and, you know, explained that he was real busy and as soon as he's done with the tour and everything, they, they she would have him call me and he gave me a call last week 
So we're going to try to set something up within the next two weeks or so. But, uh, yeah, I see there's a, I have actually, I have a couple different people uh, on Facebook here on my radio dot rocks that um, are interested in, you know, trying out for the band. Oh, cool. Good deal. So, uh, as soon as well, I get you know, a chance. You know, you know what's really cool that I've seen Doyle do? And this is something that, uh, that, that could work for what, I, like what I'm looking for, too, is when he was um, looking for members and stuff, and like when him, like, like with uh, Gorgeous Frankenstein that he was in, and uh, pretty much they were sending music back and forth, like online, you know? It's like, like they all lived in different parts of the country, you know? But like when, then when it was tour, then they all got together, but like that's how he was writing his music, you know. He was sending it back and forth. Like he'd say, "Okay, here's the guitar tracks to this song, you know. Let's uh, record some drums over it, you know, and then send your drum tracks to me, you know." And it's a good way to do it, you know. If you don't, you don't have to live in the same damn area. That's what I'm trying to say, you know. The, you always... Dude, the way of the web nowadays is amazing. Hell yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally looking for people that want to collaborate on anything, you know. It's uh, it's a shame that this happened, but these guys told me, they're like, oh, you're holding us back. And I was like, Hold, holding you back? I said, you know, I've been with you guys since day one. We've fucking been kicking ass since since then. I was like, you know, we've, I'll tell you some of the biggest sh- I, You know, we played, one of the biggest shows I ever played with the band was uh, Sex Count in Chicago. There was like five to 8,000 people in that fucking place, you know. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, I and mean, we were we were doing good. We were touring. People were, were people were starting to, you know, pay attention to what we were doing. I don't, I don't know. I just I think they wanted just to uh, go into some kind of different kind of music. So I know all I want to do is just write some rock and roll shit. You know. Now, but now let's give the audience that you know you toured with Doyle. Uh, you got some pretty heavy music. What kind of category would you, you know, classify your uh, music style? you know, thrashy rock and roll uh, with some trippy-ass bass and guitar in it, you know? But, like, a little technical drum style, too, you know? A little, but I, I don't know, honestly, how... It might change now because finding different people, you know? I mean, I wouldn't mind doing some, you know, some sleazy-ass rockabilly, psycho, psychobilly shit, you know? Like, I, I, can, I don't know, I'm going to throw all kinds of different styles of music, you know? Hey, let me... You know, a lot of, a lot of people didn't know it, but... Lemmy Kilmeister had to ban the Headcats. They did rockabilly on the side. Oh hell yeah! See, like, yeah. yeah I mean, I'm up, to, I'm up to anything really. It's just as long as it's as long as it's catchy and and they like what I do. I guess that's what these guys didn't. These guys didn't appreciate it. You know, like uh, what I was doing for them. I was trying my you know hardest to make sure everything was cool. So what can you do? Exactly. And uh, I see that you you know you. I've been chatting with Chandler Lang over there at TCEL Recognition for, yeah, you know, right there. I've been talking with him for quite a few months now, and he came on board as one of the station sponsors, and uh, then I saw, I saw that he picked you up, and I'm like, all right, that's cool. We definitely got to do something now. Yeah, yeah, I was, I've been working with him for the last two, I think I'll say two, two years now, and, um... No, he's a great guy. He's, he's uh, you know, I, I, I pretty much been talking to him and helping him since he really got into it. And he's focusing on, uh, you know, making his company, uh, you know, that's what it is. It's TCL. It's recognition. It's trying to put bands out there, you know, to get, get, get like, notarized, you know? Exactly. That's, you know, I was with the other station for a while, the Bikers Inner Circle, and, you know, it was the, the owner of that, that station that wanted a certain style of music played only his music or you know people like his music and you know me i want to give everybody a chance the only thing i really don't get into is the hard rap um i let my stepson does um a show on saturday nights three shot ten and he goes from tupac to corn to offspring to you know, Shaggy, then down to Twisted and, you know, Blaze, your dead homie, you know. And, you know, I let him have his show on Saturday nights, and he's actually been picking up a lot of listeners. Um, yeah. You know, I'm pretty surprised yeah, the good, at it. The good thing about TCEL, though, they can uh, help you with your merch, too. 
and they've, they've been doing that a lot for a lot of bands lately and they're just pretty much building up like their own like roster pretty much you know trying to get as many bands and and i'm surprised that they're even still fucking with me because uh because right now i'm not really in a band <laughs> yeah i was but I'm doing I'm doing those videos now, you know. I'm just going around filming shit. And I, in the last two years, I've traveled so much, and and that's that's what I love doing, you know. I love traveling and filming just weird, goofy <laughs> shit. And and I was like, yo, I sent him a couple of videos, and I was like, how do you guys like this? And they're like, oh, it's great. Let's let's make it to like a web, like a vlog, like a video blog thing, you know. Whatever you, couple of weeks, whatever we'll put out an episode. And I was like, yeah, let's, let's fucking do it. It'll be fun, you know. Exactly, exactly. Um, <clears throat> then I see, you know, Chandler's picked up Demon Boy. Um, yeah, we, we played with Demon Boy out, out in Brooklyn. We, we had two shows. We did two shows with him. Uh, they're, they're fucking cool people. They're crazy as hell. But uh, they, they really do play a good show, though. I give them that. He's, uh, uh, Demon Boy is really nice, too. He's a, uh, yeah, he's a great guy. I've, I've actually had him on... Uh, the other station, I had a girl, um, she used to do a Monday night, um, metal show, and, uh, she used to have him on there a couple times, and then I've interviewed him a few times, he's an excellent guy, great guy. Oh, yeah, uh, super, super nice, but, yeah. But, yeah, we we'll played with, uh, we with Green Jello out in, uh, Brooklyn, too, it was the same show with Demon Boy, we played with him, and, uh, I've kept a good connection with, uh, Bill Manspeaker from Green Joe, we talk a lot, and, and, uh, yeah, so, it, it was good, we had, a, I, I thought the fucking tour we did was great, you know, and we covered, a, we covered a huge distance, and every show was, every show was pretty good, and, you know, and then we were planning on setting up another one in April, I was supposed to go back out in April, and it was going to even be longer, and we had the booking agent, everything, everything was getting, getting routed, and everything was, you know, coming together, and then uh, they just hit me up with the call one day. Said, "Yeah, well, we're leaving." So I was like, "Well, fuck, okay." <laughs> you know, kind of sucks. Took a low blow, but uh, you just can't stop. You know. That's it. That's it. So, um, I mean, have you gotten any, you know, leads on, on any new members or? I've, I've talked to some people, and I went and seen a, a band uh, in town, and they're, they're, I like their name a lot. They were called the uh, Voodoo Truckers. And they, they were doing like psycho Billy stuff, but I don't know. I just I gotta have I gotta just have that click, you know. I gotta like when I hear the music, I got like there's some good like those guys are, are some good friends of mine. But it's um it was just the fact I, I just gotta click with the music, you know. That's the main thing. It's like you know I gotta just feel this shit and then uh, go from there. So but I, I'm still working, man, you know, and I'm kind of. Just doing my own thing, you know. I was trying to go back to uh, college, but I don't know how that's turning out right now. And I plan on moving out of Rockford and going down to Alabama. So um, I got shit on my plate right now. I just gotta. I don't know. I might. Who knows what I'm going to do? <laughs> Become one of them Southern boys, huh? Oh yeah, man. I got family in Arkansas. And family, and you know, I've been all over shit. Lived in Florida, Arkansas, New Jersey. You know. So, yeah. Well, that's what, well, we got, um, Susan Jennings just came into our chat room. We got Chandler's hanging out in there. Um, uh, Michael Galanda, he's up in, uh, Rapid City. Uh, he's going to be coming on board as one of our, our DJs. Um, uh, Susan said, Sleaze rocks. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, we got uh, another guy, another one just joined in, uh, Woody Wood. Uh, I guess, I don't know if they're coming in off of your site or off of uh, Chandler's. Um, so uh, if anybody's got any questions for uh, Isaac, why we got him here on the line, feel free to type it in the chat room and... Uh, We'll get it out there for you. Yeah, but uh, you can, you know, if you can, uh, like all my music's on Reverb Nation. It's all free, both albums. I think they're all both download. That's uh, Reverb Nation and, uh, you know, forward slash Sleazy69. That's my music, so. 
Right. I yeah. I just actually I got the uh, the whole second album downloaded, and I just played uh, um a few tunes off of it to get some you know, people. You know, you know, uh, you know what I really been thinking about though. I think uh, I think one of the problems about it was um you know when you start a band the biggest the whole point of it is to have fun and when when that kind of started going away because we were putting mo- like a lot of money involved. Um, then that, like, I don't know, the rest of those guys, were, it just, it, we just started losing the, you know, the fun, you know? And I don't know, it's just, I think that's what kind of did it too. And like what the Ramones said, like Joey Ramone, he said, uh, he said, he said, I kind of knew when the Ramones were going to, going to shit, because he's like, I, he's like, I drove, we'd be in a tour bus together and we'd drive, you know, miles and miles and hours and to the next gig and no one would say a word to each other in the whole the whole time and you're like right next to the person, you know, the other band member and that just was kind of happening to us. Like, I, it was it was weird, I thought. You know, something was, something was starting to just slip a little bit. And it sucked too because, like, I love those guys, like, you know. But uh, what can you do? Creepy Basement just told me to, to uh, say hello to you. Right, and um, Susan Jennings is just saying that, you know, you're cool as hell. Oh, thank you, Susan. Uh, let's see. I think Susan does something, too. She, I haven't talked to her in a while, but she does stuff She does stuff for bands, too, if I'm, if I'm right. If I can remember, right? Uh, I'm not sure. She said she's actually just working right now um, and listening in. Exactly, exactly. Actually, uh, Demon Boy just shot me uh, a thing saying, oh, I see you're interviewing Isaac from Sleaze. I'm game. <laughs> he's like, uh, I'm game for an interview. Yeah, he's like, I'm game for an interview if you want one. <laughs> so, yeah, he's a, like I said, he's a pretty good guy. So, um, yeah. Man, I love that song, Little Red Riding Bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's such a cool tune. That, that was actually featured in some movie he was telling us one night. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, been, he's been doing Demon, Demon Boy for a while now, I think. I've seen something like, I forgot when he started, but it's been shit. I think it's been like seven, eight years for him at least, maybe more. Yeah, and uh, he actually toured and hung out with a... I'm also friends with Alice Cooper, played out golf with Alice Cooper a few times oh, sure. out in our Arizona. I used to live in Corona, California, and oh. uh, so I had a blast. I miss it. I totally miss the West Coast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I'm getting out of this cold and fucking freezing out here. It's like uh, one, one degree, and I'm not, I, can't, I don't, I don't want to live like that. <laughs> Too cold. That's it, man. I'm tired of shoveling snow what? myself. But, um, yeah, so, um, 
you know, like you said, um, I wish there was, you know, I wish the band was back together so, uh, you know, we could yeah, make it. All, all the time, though, you know, at least, like, at least I'm keeping the fucking name and, um, you know, it's going to give it time and shit, if that don't work, then maybe I'll just pick up an acoustic sometime and just try writing some bullshit, who knows, but... You know, nice. I just, I, I, the music, I, you know, I love, I love writing music and I love playing shows, so it'll, it'll come. You know, oh. I, just gotta, I, just, I think I gotta relocate now. I think I gotta find new people. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I just, I just wish we could, you know, tell the crowd where you're gonna be at next and, uh, you know, what's up with everything. But, um, like you said, you are looking for band members. So if anybody's out there and you think you got what it takes to be part of Sleaze, uh, get up with Isaac on Facebook or you can get up with, uh, Chandler Lang or myself and I'll forward it over to Isaac and I'll see if you guys can't make a click. Yeah, and, uh, look out for those episodes I'm, I'm going to be filming and, uh, I'm going to be posting that online too, so those are, those are going to be funny. I got some good shit coming. Oh yeah, regularly, you know, like we were just saying earlier, you know, Chandler with recognitions really, uh, you know, he's coming up pretty quick, uh, doing these, now he's doing your show. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he's got his stuff sponsored now, so, uh, that's gonna really help him out. And, um, yeah, I think he's gonna, it's gonna take off, he just, I think he just gotta work for it, you know, and he'll get it. Oh, yeah, I've been working with him for about four months now, and, you know, he's, uh, I've met yeah, him. Yeah, to be honest, you know, it's hard to find people, especially, like, you know, he lives, on, he lives in Canada, you know, and it's like, it's hard to, you know, when someone writes you online, like, I was kind of iffy the first time, you just don't know, you know, you get, you get, you know, a loophole, get ripped off, and then he was never like that, you know, I was honest, we got, he uh, helped us get some uh, shirts and beanies and helped us get some CDs and, you know, it's like, uh, that's how we did it. You know? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I totally understand it. The last station I was with, um... You know, I busted my ass for that station for two years before I met the guy and uh, stayed there for a total of six years to, um, you know, we were the official radio station of the Buffalo Chip out in Sturgis. And uh, this year we just had a falling out and, you know, he wanted to threaten me and stole two guitars from me and all oh, no. kinds of shit. So, you know, I just, I parted ways and started my own station. You know, um, I've ra I've helped him raise thousands and thousands of dollars over the years, which, you know, everything was supposed to be split up amongst the DJs and stuff like that. And this guy just kept all the money for himself and didn't want to split it with anybody. Right. I can't have that happen, man. So. You gotta watch those loopholes, but you did the right thing. I mean, you, got, you, you, did, your, you, know, you did your own thing. <laughs> exactly. And I mean, That's you know. And a lot of people think you make, you know, you make a killing. You're not. Um, the donations that do come in, I pay for the web, you know, the web server, the web pages, uh, you know, merchandise, you know, for the radio station. And then if there's anything left over, then I split it up amongst the DJs. Yeah. You know, but, you know, I opened up my, my PayPal account to the guy for the last six years. You know, he tried to tell me I stole ten thousand dollars from him. Oh, I said, <laughs> I said, dude, here's your, here's my PayPal. Why don't you show it? I said, show everybody your PayPal and how much money you've collected in the last year. Right. You know, he he collected a hundred grand in a little over a year and four months from yeah, from funny. yeah from people donating. You know, every time you look on that website, Bikers Inner Circle website, they're always trying to raise money for something else. You know, help me get my motorcycle fixed. Help me make a CD. Help me make a mo you know, help me make a movie. And people are, are glutton for punishment and they keep donating a hundred, two hundred, five hundred dollars. And, you know, he's steadily, he's steadily sitting back smoking the weed and laughing at them. You know, yeah. but uh, definitely, man. Once uh, you get rocking and rolling again, man, we're gonna bring you back on here, and you know, sure. we'll make it. We'll make it like um, you know, a weekly thing or an every other week thing. You know, while you're doing your filming with Chandler, and uh, you know, see if we can't get this thing going. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Next time we'll uh, put it out a little bit le- later in the day. So uh, I, I didn't know it was at nine o'clock over you know where you're at. So that's how <clears throat> maybe have a little bit t- more time, you know. But it's cool, man. I appreciate. It. That's yeah. fine. I'm us- I'm usually on from eight p.m. Eastern until eleven p.m. So right. you know, sometimes I'll even stay on till midnight. So you know, whatever. <laughs> Oh, definitely, definitely. So, what's it? What's the better time to? Where are you at? You're in Central Time, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. It's eight, eight thirty-five right here. Yeah. Now. So, what's the better time to do an interview with you? Um, hmm, I, well, this, is, this is good for me. You know, it's, it's, whatever, whatever's fine for you, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm always open up. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's that's fine. Either between eight and nine, your time's fine. Yeah. But uh, definitely, man, we'll get up with you. And I want to appreciate you stopping by and giving us some time. I'm uh, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play uh, a few more tunes from your second album, there. I think I got it. What's one of your favorite songs from that album? My favorite, one of my favorite is uh, "Top of the Valley," and it was uh, the only acoustic song we've ever did. And it had like some bongo drums on it, and uh, yeah, it's called "Top of the Valley." All right, I'm going to have that coming up next. Tell us a little story about how you wrote it. I wrote that song in five minutes, man. We were all just sitting around the table and sipping on some beer, and we just, I put the, well, my guitar player, he just picked up the acoustic and just started, you know, messing with it, and we just, I don't know, that song was so fast, and we wrote it, and, and, it, had, and it just came out great. I was like, oh, my God. It's, I don't know, just one of those songs, you know? Exactly. All right, my brother, like I said, uh, thank you for stopping by. We'll definitely keep in touch get you on here again. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right. You have a good one, brother. You too, man. Peace out. Yep. All right, guys. Hey, I want to thank Isaac. Isaac's a great guy. I've been chatting with him back and forth, you know, on Facebook for the last uh, couple months. Um, I actually won a contest and got a sleeve beanie and uh, some other merchandise from recognition when we first started talking uh, then actually recognition came on board as a sponsor for my radio dot rocks and uh, you know we would definitely want to get them out there uh, it's TCEL recognition they're out of Canada they work with a lot of bands um, of course, you got Sleeze, you got Demon Boy, um, you got a, quite a other few. We're going to try to get them on the shows here also. So while they stick around, we got uh, Top of the Valley, which Isaac said he was one of his uh, favorite songs. And it only took him five minutes to write, so uh, let's kick it off with that real quick.
trip the blind ones Don't attempt to take his gold It'll turn to gold He'll put a dash of black in your soul Now I'll let you see That all things are possible If you climb up here with me I'll show you Now I'll let you see That all things are possible If you climb up here with me I'll show you The top of the Hey, up next, we got another one called uh, Rolling Dice with the Devil. Broadcasting from the shallow end of the gene pool, Dillinger on MyRadio.rocks. <laughs> We lost two more musicians. Uh, the drummer from Matahupo, Griffin, he died at the age of 67. And Glenn Fry passed away again uh, today, not again, but today at the age of 67 also.
Alright folks, like I said, you are listening to Sleeves. We just had Isaac Hare from the band live on the phone. He called in the studio. Uh, he's working with Chandler Lang from TCEL Recognition. And um, we're working with Recognition also. So uh, there's going to be a lot more bands to come. A lot more interviews. A lot more great music. So stick around. Start listening to the upcoming new number one internet radio station, MyRadio.Rocks.
folks. Hey, I'm going to end this show. Again, I want to give a great big shout out to Isaac Hare from Sleeves for stopping by, chatting with us. I want to give a great big shout out to Chandler Lang from uh, Mission. I uh, want to give a shout out to Mike Granda that stopped by, Woody Wood, um, Susan Jennings. Uh, Richard Duncan, um, there's a couple more of the people here, let's see, uh, yeah, Richard Duncan, uh, I guess he's with the band Creepy Basement, uh, also, you know, uh, we're gonna bring him back on here as soon as we have his interview with Doyle, so I'll uh, stick around, My Radio Dot Rock is up running and rock and rolling you other guys just remember you called us the other station but we're the other station that kicks ass my radio dot rocks keep listening i'm dillinger i'm out remember keep the rubber side down and never cruise faster than your angel can fly <laughs>